Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel today. I'm gonna show you something that's just absolutely stellar. I'm gonna show you guys how to make some crispy chocolate today. So let's get started. First up, in a small mixing bowl, you're going to add two whole eggs, followed by some granulated sugar, uh, some whole milk, and then you're gonna add just a touch of vanilla extract. Give this a good whisk until everything comes together. Uh, but as you're whisking, you're gonna add in the melted butter and then continue whisking until that's incorporated as well. Um, after that, you're gonna add the all-purpose flour and again, continue to whisk until this becomes a very smooth batter. Once the waffle cone batter is ready to go, you're just going to heat up your uh, waffle cone machine and then you're going to cook this batter for about two minutes uh, just until the waffle turns a really beautiful golden brown. Um, and then you're just going to let it cool down and you're just going to repeat this process until you have about six or seven waffle crisps. All right, so once the waffle crisps are done and cooling down, we're gonna start tempering our chocolate. So in a double boiler, you're gonna melt some chocolate to about 110 degrees Fahrenheit or so. Make sure not to go over 119 or 120, otherwise you risk burning the chocolate. Uh, but make sure you get it pretty warm and make sure all that chocolate is thoroughly melted. Once that's done, you're gonna take it off the heat and then you're gonna add in some remaining uh, unmelted chocolate. And this is gonna temper and cool down the chocolate as well as emulsifying it together. And so when it cools and it dries up, it has a really beautiful sheen to it and it's just really sturdy. You're gonna wanna temper this chocolate until it reaches about 90 degrees or 89 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and then set it aside. Once that's done, you're gonna wanna clear your space, grab a large mixing bowl, and then just start to crumble up all of the waffle crisps into the bowl um, into very, very small pieces. Next, you're just going to want to simply add the dark melted chocolate that has been tempered to your pulverized or your crushed waffle crisps. Give this a good mix, making sure that all of that chocolate is intermingled with the waffle cone crisps and then you're going to start putting them into the molds and then let the magic happen. I mean, I definitely recommend wearing a glove when doing this just because chocolate can be pretty messy and uh, you don't want to accidentally wipe it on your clothes or just forget it's on your hands. So just keep that in mind um, if that's something you prefer. Uh, but also make sure that you work fairly fast just because you're obviously working against melted chocolate and that tends to harden up pretty quickly, especially if you temper it. So just keep all that in mind. Um, uh, but once you're done molding everything, just sprinkle a little bit of sea salt right on top and then set this aside in a cool, dry place for about uh, 15 to 30 minutes until it sets up. Once that's done, you're gonna take them out of the molds and, uh, and enjoy them. Share them, pass them around with the family and friends and uh, enjoy a very crispy and chocolatey experience. All right guys, so done with the uh, crispy chocolate recipe. These are absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna dig in, tell you guys how I did, and <laughs> really just enjoy some chocolate mixed in with uh, some waffle cones, which I'm assuming is gonna be pretty spectacular. But uh, let me dive in. <laughs> I, I made two shapes here. Um, this is the one that I showed in the recipe, and I had some other molds that I used some of the excess uh, chocolate crumble mix um, for and a nice little square shape. So anyways, this is more traditional with a Rocher, which is the inspiration behind this, um, which is like a little chocolate truffle that has crispy wafers in it. Um, but this has waffle cone wafers, a little bit, little bit different. So all right, I'm gonna shut up and try these.
<laughs> wow. Very, very crispy. You have those really thin, you know, waffle cone crisps. And I really love that some of the different areas of the waffle cone get a little bit more cooked and have a real, more robust uh, caramelized flavor to them. So it makes for a really cool, interesting dynamic bite to bite, you know? Um, Really, really good uh, crispy chocolate, I'm calling it. And it's just super, super versatile. I could have made these really, really thin. Um, that was actually what I was going for and I ended up making these a little too chunky. Uh, but at the same time, uh, these are really cool. I love, I love the texture. The thickness makes for a really, really crispy experience. Mm. Which is not a bad thing. But honestly, it just goes to show you that you could really play around with this and honestly, you can even make like an ice cream sandwich where you can uh, layer out the crispy chocolate waffle cone mix as thin as possible and then cut it in half and stack it on top of some ice cream. And so there's like, there's that idea. You can have this as like, you know, make like little round sticks and have it like a coffee stirrer or, you know, whatever. There's a, there's a million different ideas you could probably think of, uh, but it's just a really stellar recipe and you can't really go wrong with uh, waffle cone and chocolate, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure you thumbs up. Subscribe at the end of this video. There will be an annotation. Click subscribe for future content and my catalog of um, other recipes that I've already uploaded in the past. And comment down below for future video requests and things you wanna see on my channel. And all right guys, I'll see you next time with another delicious recipe. Bye.